Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona DeChichi, and welcome to another video. I hope you are all having a great day because the Shadowbringers launch trailer just released at E3 today, and we're going to see if it's, a, if it's a good trailer or not. Now, the thing is, I've already watched it. I like it. I think it's good. I think that you should watch it before you watch this because... Not only is this going to be sort of like a commentary, but we're going to analyze the trailer. We're going to make, we're going to try and figure out like all the nuts and bolts of it. And I say that because in real life, I am a trailer editor. I live here in LA and I work in Hollywood. So whenever trailers come out, especially when E3 rolls around um, or in July when Comic-Con rolls around, like when the trailers get released, I get really hyped up. I get really excited because you get to see like the new stories, like the new stuff that's coming out. And I'll probably make another video about like, you know, editing movie trailers and editing all, all that stuff. Like that's cool, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about Shadowbringers. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, first two shots of this entire trailer, right? We have our hero character. Pretty standard like setup. Uh, most Hollywood movie trailers will do this. Usually there'll be an establishing shot, and this can do this can do like uh, both that and uh, our hero. And he's a little bit dazed and confused, right? Because we have this next shot, which has this overbearing like white light that's coming down. It's like it's blinding. So. Within the first three shots, we already know like the conflict, right? From, from everything that's come up before, the conflict is our warrior of darkness needs to combat the light that's coming down. So far, so far, so good. We already got like the core story with Shadowbringers. Well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. <laughs> And when, pray tell, did so we, we have a little bit of history, we have our old fella, who's Over our mentor. Years ago. That's when. So now we get our first key story element. We know that the Dark Knights haven't been around for a hundred years. It's neat, it's good. We, we have some sort of time frame. Well, now we have uh, a history set up where it's like, for those hundred years, like, these creatures of the light have come in and sort of like taken taken down society. They've run amok, uh, and that looks like uh, looks like Alamigo. We have this giant in wave. that chaotic no man's land between realms. Time and space war and blend in. Ah, so now we have sort of our uh, whimsical. Um, not necessarily whimsical, but like our fantasy realm. Like we know that we're in this void, and we got to figure out like what's going on. But there might be some time stuff like happening here, and this is what I gather from from these two shots put together. What Orionge saw was the future. There we go. So we see the future. Now we know what we got to do. We gotta travel back, back into the past. But you don't know, we don't know yet. We just know that we need to do something. Some cool fight scenes, really good of a video game trailer, awesome. That's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures or people. So now we get our second piece of information, which is that we know that these things are, or were like people from either an old time or like they died and they turned into aether you know because the final fantasy universe like nobody ever dies they just kind of like go away into this life force energy and then they come back that were caught in the path of the flood so the flood it looks like the flood is like this huge event that has taken everybody away once the change is wrought there is no going back Now, see, I think that there's a setup there where she says, you know, once they're changed, there's no going back. But that's a good, uh, not necessarily, it's not a red herring, but it's a, uh, it's a way to set up the story of like, uh, to set up the stakes of this trailer. It's like, once you get turned, you can't go back. So there's that risk 
that if you get, you know, you, you can't have these things like turning you or else like, you know, your mission or your like purpose is, you know, it's, it's gone. So that's setting up uh, a good, that's setting up the conflict, right? Cause all, all uh, entertainment, all, um, all movies and video games, it's setting up a conflict. Um, and now we have this title card right here. Uh, these are what these are called. They're called cards or title cards. They're basically uh, a way to explain more of a trailer or more of a or, or to help guide the story along. And uh, in my experience, this there's a lot of words on this card, right? Like if you've seen movie trailers and all of and other uh, other trailers from uh, mainly popular popular movies, like the most you'll the most like you'll have like words on a title card like this is like three words you know like three maybe four but this is like this this title card is like a whole paragraph you know compared to um some of the other movie trailers but i think it's okay because not only is this a launch trailer but it's a launch trailer for folks uh like you and me who know of the game who uh who play the game and uh to get and you know like final fantasy 14 has always been about the story and the the content so having a title card like this um i think it's a little bit revealing because uh when we have across time and space like we already sort of know uh that we're going through some sort of void or some sort of space so uh if it were me i would just say I wouldn't say across time and space. I would say, um, I would say something like, you know, a voice, you know, the or like the voice of time and space. But then again, it like all depends on the story. I don't know the story, but uh, but to get, maybe you don't even know like the, uh, maybe you don't even need like the warrior of light. You could just say across time and space, a voice beckons, because we already know our here our warrior of light is our hero of the story. Anyway, enough about the title cards. It's like a huge, like, like at work and all that. It's like a huge deal. Like, there's tons of people weighing in. There's like, you know, ten people. Anyway, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place. So a little bit of repetitiveness uh, with this because we already know that the creatures are there, um, but. It's. I think it's okay because we get a little bit more piece of information at the end, where uh, we talk about what was it? Another has risen up in its place. All right, another has risen up in its place. So basically, that means that when these things are killed, another one comes back, you know, to life, sort of like zombies, but they're light zombies. Born of the self-same ether, relinquished by its predecessor. So another title card to help out the story along. Uh, I think this one's fine because like the style of the trailer is to paint a really uh, in-depth world. Like we already know that we're totally in-depth, but uh, for those who might be watching it for the first time, it's uh, it's interesting. And we get our first piece of information here, uh, the first. Which is these guys right here. So. Uh, a lot of times, whenever you have an establishing like card where it's like, you know, the the first, uh, the next shot usually should always like, you know, uh, rep should follow the information, right? Because we have the information the first, we have we have this establishing thing, we we eventually join and see our first villain. That's Volthry. <laughs> He's such a villain because he's like got these dark eyes and he's all big and you know and bra -ha -ha. Oh, so it looks like uh Lise here, uh one of our other characters, she might be in disguise. Silly and then we have our uh, you know, mentor character. Ah, and this one's interesting because now now that we know like these two shots establish like a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of like story part, right? Like on the one hand, we have our Warrior of Light and Alice in the background. Uh, 
and this poor uh, cat boy guy, which looks like he has something in his arm that's like spreading. So my take with these two shots, spoilers, right, is that uh, this guy, this little cat guy, he, he's doomed. He's going to get turned into one of the things. And we see that because this next shot, uh, we have our, we have some of those white looking statue things there. And we've already established that they were once human earlier in the trailer. And so now we get to see like this, this spoiler just out of two shots. Living ether. And we get a more of a reinforcement with the bad guy saying, you know, this is what we need to do. A good title card. It creates it creates wonder, it creates stakes. And now we're at the part of the trailer where it's a lot of uh, it's going to be a lot of montage. It's going to be a lot of our main characters having them do like some cool stuff. Mavilia is there. This world's beyond saving. No, it's not. We're going to save it. We're going to save it. But because of the trailer, <laughs> it's always good. In every single trailer, you always set up the stakes. You always set up that, that one line that's like, we're not going to make it. You know, it's always, it's always funny. It always gets me every time. Like those who try to save it. This world has had its fill of heroes. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I think he's gonna just smile, like after he waves his hand over his face. Uh, looks like now we're previewing some new dungeons, some new primals, some new enemies. Looks really cool. This to me looks like a uh, transition phase. Incredibly beautiful. All of that jazz. Yeah, and here we get our first look at the next primal in uh, that we're going to be fighting. There's so much we can discern from every single shot, but in order to save you like the trouble, we're not going to dive too much into it. Um, just let the images, like at this point in the trailer, we're all, we already know the story. We already know the bad guy. We already kind of know like what happens. And now we're exploring the world. Now we're in conflict mode. And the the point of like this part of the trailer and to the rest of it, rest of the uh, video, the rest of the trailer is to make this cool, uh, make it so that there's so much going on that you're moving from one point to another and like how does it all connect like how does it all flow like what happens and that's the that's the whole point right we want to know what happens Did everything we gave good stuff a lot of emotions lsa with the warrior of light the time has come uh it's kind of like a card that's always been used um not sure what else to put there Maybe like, you know, gather, you know, gather your friends or something. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, it's it's one that like it takes a while. It takes a while to like figure out what the right card is. Like the time has come. I don't know. <laughs> and a lot of montage, some abilities, some definitely cut scenes, cool, flashy looking stuff. All right, the time has come to shatter the thing of light. It makes perfect sense. Didn't get to that part. New abilities, new limit breaks, almost defeated. Hood guy gaining white aether, bad guy. He's about to unleash his crazy move. Warrior of Light, like, either succumbing or getting, like, a, a boost. For this moment. And then we go back to the original launch trailer, the cinematics. The one possessed of her blessing for you. And so uh, this is this is this shot right here is the perfect shot to end the trailer because it it encompasses like everything that we've seen up until up until this point, right? You have this white, huge, blinding light, and you know, we split it. We literally like cut it in half. We kill it. 
you know, and then behind it is the darkness, the blackness of space. It's the perfect shot to end. And I remember seeing like the, you know, somebody posted on Reddit, the title screen, like is going to be something like this, uh, where it's like this split. And even though you might not know, but like when you watch that and like you get that feeling of like, oh, like this is the thing that we're going to be doing for you. And this is the thing that I'm gonna be experiencing. So it's cool. Through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods, but... They are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals. It's interesting that they sort of ended it, ended it with that. Uh, I think it's a really good story nugget, right? To to introduce like, hey, for all the way up until this point, like you thought that they were gods, but now we figure out it's a primal. And what does the Warrior of Light do? They knock down the primals every single time. Like a patch comes out. You just you just go to town on those primals. It takes like, you know. Two, three hours like tops and you down the you down those primals and then you know you're off to the next one, you're off to the races. Um I don't know about this end. I think it I think whoever decided to put this in because because these trailers go through many QC checks, right? It's not just one person, it's it's multiple people. And I'm I'm pretty sure Yoshi P uh had his hand on like looking sure making sure that every single line of dialogue and every single like cut and shot in this trailer doesn't give too much away but also teases it for everyone all of us to like you know go in understand what the story is understand like that there's stakes to it that there's this huge thing that we need to like overcome and when we get our launch date or when we get into Shadowbringers we know what we're in for and I think it's going to be exciting. I know that you guys think it's going to be exciting because you've sat through this entire video. Um, but that's my sort of trailer analysis. It's not really like story-wise, but it's more like a perspective on how a trailer is crafted when you know Square Enix knows its audience. We all know the story. And I would say this is a good trailer too because it does two things. One, it it really hypes up the story and like all of the new abilities and all of the things for people who've played Final Fantasy XIV for the, a long time, like myself, you know, since 2.0. And it also sets it up for anyone who's new, who's coming in, who likes that fantasy world, who, who you know, is kind of tired of the heroes, who's like tired of you know doing all of the the good in the world and they want something a little bit more uh dark they want something a little bit more anti-hero and this trailer accomplishes both so if you're not hyped up like i i know that i'm hyped up even though i kind of don't sound like it because i just like ate dinner and i'm like all like blah, 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 blah. but <laughs> but these trailers get me excited i've probably watched this thing like four or five times i always like watching new trailers like seeing how they're made, like analyzing kind of the way that they're cut, the voiceover, and so I can adapt it and incorporate it into like my uh, my real life, like uh, professional career. So thank you guys for staying with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe because every other YouTuber does it, so might as well like follow the train. But don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and I want to do... Uh, more videos. I think it's going to be uh, just fun. There's going to be like, you know, some... I got a whole list. I got a whole list of videos that I want to do. Uh, and hopefully it helps, you know, hopefully it's not just reaction trailers, but it's it'll be... Uh... So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, trailer. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel. I plan to do more videos. Uh, these trailers get me really hyped up. 
and uh, I'll, I'll make some more videos about like you know why for the longest time I've just haven't made any videos. Um, and probably if you've followed my channel before, you know I've made the you know Eorzea is brave, Eorzea you know embrace the dark, like those kind of things. Like so, so doing those like you know video game trailers on the side, they take a lot of work, they take a lot of time, uh, but. Uh, they were fun, and I, I want to do more of those, but it, it just takes so much time, and with my busy schedule in real life, uh, I'm going to try to make a commitment to to bring you guys like some cool stuff, you know, some stuff that helps you out, some stuff that helps you out with raids, some stuff that helps you out with primals, uh, you know, quality of life improvements, or like how you can use this or that in, in in game in order to like you know enhance your experience because i like the final fantasy series i know you guys do too so i'll leave it at that and i hope you guys have a wonderful day i will see you next time